Thousands of people run marathons every year. For many, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For Dane Rauschenberg, it's just another weekend. My answer is always, why not? <laughs> Starting in January, the Arlington, Virginia resident has run a certified marathon every week, all to raise money for L'Arche, a charity in Mobile, Alabama. I just wanted to run uh, a marathon every weekend for an entire calendar year. When I found out that one of the marathons was benefiting an organization that I had never heard of, I looked into it further. When I saw what they were doing, and given the fact that I've worked with mentally and physically handicapped people in the past, I realized it was kind of fate, was something I really wanted to do. So that's just kind of kismet, but now it's working. He's raised nearly $19,000 so far, typically in small amounts. You meet wonderful people that come out of the woodwork and just, you know, for no reason at all have donated uh, when they've never met you or something like that. Uh, I guess the low points would be the flip side of that coin where you, you would think that you know, corporations or, or would, would be willing to be behind this. Or, you know, the airline industry is hardly in anyone's good graces these days. You think that someone would like to be the official airline of Fiddy too, but it hasn't happened. So you just have to, luckily, you know, one good thing outweighs 10 bad things. While the fundraising is inspiring, it's the other runners that keep Rauschenberg running. Last week in Reno, there was a gentleman who was running his first marathon ever. One year to the day after he had started on a diet plan and he lost 140 pounds. So, I mean, just, those are the motivation that keep me running week in and week out when this guy has never run anything more than, I think, a six-mile race, and here he has taken on a marathon. And it's, it's motivation like that. Or I uh, routinely get emails from people who said that they've never run anything in their life, but they're trying their first 5K in the, in, in ever because I read that, you know, I just finished my 27th marathon or what have you, and they figured, well, if he can do that, I can, I can run 3.1 miles. And that, that keeps me going. That's the inspiration for me. Still... 52 marathons in 52 weeks does take some physical talent. Just basically run during the week just to keep from getting grouchy. <laughs> I'm kind of an exercise freak. I mean, I say, you know, running is my Prozac. Which is good because there have been some rough moments this year. A low point uh, is probably the Leadville Marathon in Colorado. It uh, topped out at over 13,000 feet of elevation with 12,000 feet of vertical climbing just within the race course itself. And... Uh, that was very difficult, and it left me with some leg problems for about a month and a half. I'm just now recovering, and it's, you know, the fact that I couldn't take any time off. Uh, a lot of, some people are doing similar things to what I'm doing this year, but the difference being with mine is I'm the only one that's doing one every week without fail. And so I had to do Leadville. It was the only one in North America that weekend. And so, you know, I added a challenge within a challenge within a challenge, and that, that was a low point to think that, am I going to make it, you know, but from then on, it's literally been all downhill. <laughs> Despite all the miles, Rauschenberg says he's just a regular guy. I put in 50 hours a week in a, in a patent licensing job, just a, a normal guy. And that's, that's what I'm trying to show is that normal people can do amazing things. And I'm not taking the time off and I'm still doing this. So someone can go out there and, and run their first 5K and experience what a 10K feels like or a half marathon and know that you know, they, can, they can keep up their normal life, their wife and children and everything like that, and, 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 and just go out for a run. With over 890 miles run already this year, Rauschenberg has had some time to think about what he's learned. I guess my lesson is, is you, you, if your reach doesn't ex, you know, exceed your grasp, you never know what you can obtain. So uh, the lesson is keep trying. Even though I've, I've experienced you know, lots of fatigue, pain, weather conditions, etc., you just keep going. And chances are, if you don't stop, you're going to get to what you need to do. To keep track of Rauschenberg's progress or to make a donation, you can go to his website, fitty2.org. In his quest, he'll travel to 25 states and two Canadian provinces. We asked what his favorite site has been so far. Every weekend, that finish line, that's my favorite spot. <laughs> For Park City Television, this is Ori Hoffer.